We've waited a long time, in fact, we've waited way too long. But finally, Squid Game is back, Season 2. They've got a special teaser, and we are here to break it down. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment. It has been a while. It has been too long, in fact, and I'm looking forward to Squid Game Season 2. I did enjoy the first season. I felt like it would have been fine if they just left it at that, but we all know it went on to have a lot of success commercially, it made a lot of money, and when you make money, money's hard to put on the table, so if you've got money at the table, you want to keep that money, and you know, we brought Squid Game back, that's kind of how it works, so yeah, we're going to get into it, we're going to break down the trailer, will it be as good as season one? I hope so, I think we've got a few characters returning, of course we've only got one contestant returning, because only one contestant is alive, but uh, you know, we do have some other characters potentially making their comeback, and hopefully we'll get some new characters added as well. I'm looking forward to it, I thought season one was a great watch, and I'm sure on season two, if it can be anywhere near as good as season one, will be worth watching too. Absolutely, it's a great, yeah, great concept, can't complain about it. Can it go long? I, I, I mean, they've already said it's only going three seasons. I think that's a correct call. You can't just do like 10 seasons of game shows. Yeah, no, it, I mean, it doesn't work. And you know what? I mean, I, I think a season three, you could see not even have a game show. But here we go. What was all of it? That was very quick, wasn't it? Yeah, so it looks like someone was having a wee dream there. Does he look older to you? He does look a wee bit noticeably older. Yeah, he does, but I mean, it has been a few years. Last so. time we've seen him, he had pink hair. He's got to go. Red hair, mate. Red pink. Oh. I'm going to assume that this is a, a dream or something. I don't think this will be... I... Yeah, I definitely said dream. It looks like a dream location as well. So we've got the same old workers. Um, Mr. Triangle. Yeah. Got the monitors here. Looks like the exact same building, doesn't it? It does. Which I mean, why would you change? Yep, staff only. But see, it says special teaser. It doesn't seem to me like they're going to show an awful lot here. Incinerator. Like, see everything they've shown apart from him answering the door with a gun. It could have been from season one. Very true. You know, yeah, I'm not saying it is, but it's almost like it is, though. Got the money building up. Get in the car. Four, five, six. But see, when you've seen the. Like, when you seen the end of season one, it, it made you believe that he was voluntarily going to go back in and he was going to try and uh, infiltrate the uh, the camp. I'm not sure if that's what we're getting here. It almost looks like he's been taken back. And in this pause freeze, you can see there's two people in there turning turn around looking at him. I wonder if, like... They recognise him? No? Well, they're not for the first... Game because they're dead, they're all dead. Oh, yeah, but, might, might, might. but I mean, I wonder if it's been could season three be like a Hell's Kitchen winner sort of thing where everyone that's back in was a winner, previous winner? I mean, potentially, I but mean, it would limit your numbers. You could, could probably only have about 20 odds. I mean, could, well, no, I remember he found the notes dating all the way back, and and just yeah, yeah but my point is, yeah, but there's no, a 90 year old, in well, here, no, but for the old guy, but there's no reason why more than one person can't win these games. Oh, I true, that's a valid point. Now, um, yeah, obviously there has to be losses because some games, but some games everyone could survive technically. And if you have enough people get into the final game, or if enough people get into the final game, I wonder if they would make it only one person can win. But based on the game that we've seen in season one, had more than two people made it into that, then there would have been teams and you would have had more than one winner and you would have split the money. Yep. Well, I totally agree. And they did say that, you know, the the, the, winners, the winner's pot will be split between the, the winners. So you could have a, a year where I guess maybe 10 people survive. So, I mean, we don't really know. But I wonder if it's been announced that he is perhaps a returning player because it does look like people are turning around looking at him. And that'd be a bit awkward. December 26, Boxing Day. Boxing Day, I tell you what, this will be a nice wee... Uh, Thing to look forward to after Christmas, I believe, tuning in to Squid Game. But yeah, for me, I mean, overall, uh, yeah, I mean, I think season two will be all right. But the teaser doesn't really show much. But it is a teaser. I mean, I don't expect it's not a trailer. Teasers tend to not really give much away. 
but it is kind of hard to you know break this down it's kind of hard to get too excited about it when really we haven't been shown anything i guess but i guess they can't reveal too much because then people will be able to break down each individual game and that gets a wee bit boring I mean, it could at least have some different characters could be introduced. In True, the but, but there mean, was nothing there. Like, I mean, that was as bland as it comes. But then again, you know what? Sometimes it's good going into a show not knowing. I agree. Well, anyway, guys, that's it for season two. Special teaser trailer breakdown. Not really much to break down. I've I, touched upon. I imagine that there will be a trailer between now and the release, though. So. Oh, I'd say so. I'd say about November time you'll get one, definitely. Probably end of Halloween, <laughs> etc. in there. Anyway, guys, till next time. Peace.